happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. And as the title suggests, I had a life cast done. That's right, I bit the bullet. I had a life cast done from my shoulders upwards done by the amazingly talented Claire Tennant who is based here in Sydney. This woman's resume to say the least is amazing. Claire specializes in mold making and miniatures and whatnot. And some of her credentials include Mary and Max, one of my most favorite films. That film made me cry. She's also responsible for creating Roger the Dog from the Schmackos commercials. She also worked on the Yogo Gorilla commercials that we all grew up with. Now let me just backtrack. The original reason why I wanted this life cast done, and many of you have guessed correctly, I'm gonna have my own custom made Batfleck cow sculpted on my life cast. Two buddies of mine in the States, Mr. Ryan Eaton and Jamie of Iconic Collectibles. The three of us are gonna partner up. I'm gonna be sending the life cast to my buddy Ryan in the States, who's then gonna sculpt the cow. He's gonna mold it, and then Jamie will also make urethane copies, because Jamie does the best urethane cows I have ever seen. The dude is flawless with his castings. Usually some cows are all gluggy and uneven, but Jamie, it just, it looks like a machine did it, so I am definitely in good hands with these two gentlemen. And if you're wondering, yes, we will be offering these to the public because the idea is we want to offer Batfleck cows to the small-headed cosplayer. My head's about 22 and a half inches, and that is pretty damn small. Most cows that I get are suited for about a 24-inch head, and it just looks ridiculous. I look like a bobblehead. Even with some foam in the back of my head, it still looks silly. And plus, when I'm old and I can just look back and say, that cow was made specifically for me, I will die happy. So anyway guys, that is what is happening at the moment. I'm very excited about that, but let's talk about the process of getting a life cast done. Because when you think about it, the process is quite confronting. So I rang up Claire, she was awesome, she booked me in. Now traditionally when you do a life cast of someone, you use what's called alginate. It's a seaweed based product. A lot of dentists use it to take impressions of your teeth, if you gotta get braces or plates or whatnot. The whole head is covered in alginate, but in this case, I wanted a silica mold so I can make multiple copies of my head if need be, if I needed it, if Ryan needed it, if Jamie needed it, or just in general for prosthetics and whatnot. It does cost a little bit more because you are using silicon instead of alginate, and silicon is very expensive. But I did get a good discount from my good friends at barns.com.au because I've been going there since I was in high school. 27 now. Now the silicon we were using is called Odd Bod. Now this is a brand new product here in Australia and the company Odd helped make this product. These guys are the ones responsible for Mad Max and they are the ones that actually just took home all those Oscars at the Academy Awards. So they are based here in Australia and they have made this brand new silicon based product that is specifically designed for life casting. So anyway I got in there, Claire has her workshop, her assistant Clint was there as well to help along with the life casting because it is a two man job because you are limited with time once the products start to cure. Now they did have to run me through what was going to happen. If you're a claustrophobic or a nerve bag in general, it is very confronting. And people have been known to freak out in all that stuff. They've had to tear it off and all that money's wasted. So the next step was then to put a bowl cap on my head and glue it down with some spirit gum and that was pretty easy. That took about five minutes and then the actual life casting began and that was a matter of mixing up the odd bod, quickly applying it to my head in multiple layers and the cure time was about five minutes. It was so quick to do the silicone process and it's weird you can only breathe through your nose your eyes are shut your mouth is shut and when the silicon sets everything is just weird it's like compressed and you know you shouldn't be try to open your eyes you can't even do that it's like they're glued shut and there is that slight moment of panic and you're like what the fuck is that again? but then you relax get over it, and realize this is going to be awesome this is going to be totally worth it <laughs> so then once all the silicon is cured on my head what claire and clint did was get some plasticine I made a dividing wall over my head now. Nothing will stick to silicon, whether it's plasticine, plaster, clay, you name it, traditionally to make a dividing wall. So you just try and mount it as best as you can and hope to God it stays there. Because the next step is in the two-piece plaster bandage mother mold. And that's pretty self-explanatory, just plaster bandages on the front, then on the back, and then when it's dried, crack it off and peel the silicon off. There was a cut made up the back of my head. Some hairs did tear off my back. My God, it hurts. 
So yeah, this is the end result once the mold was put back together. And then what I'm able to do now is make multiple castings, whether it be resin, I can do clay pores if I want to, if I want to fix up some areas or even sculpt open eyes, I can do plaster casts like traditional life casts. So what I opted for was a resin casting. So just a normal slush cast, multiple layers of super cast like I used on my Dawn of Justice belt after some cleanup and priming. Here it is in all its glory, my life cast. Hey buddy. So first off, I want to give a massive thank you to Claire Tennant, who is based in Marrickville. She has done an amazing job with this life cast and I'm just so excited for this project to be up and running. Claire was quick when she booked me in. The process took about an hour, if that, and I thought it would take a couple of hours. And the cool thing was the whole time I was encased in this stuff, her and Clint were talking back and forth, talking to me, telling me stories to keep me calm and whatnot. Even though I was calm, it was cool just to have, you know, some innate chatter going on. And it's weird, the more layers that go on, the more muffled the voices are. It's like, so anyway, with this guy, he went down the street and then the other day he went down the shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yeah, Kyle. Helmet, put that there. Noseless Robert Anglin could go down there. Ah. All right, you can go there for now. Oop. Ah. Not gonna fall off this stool again. <laughs> Stay. Ah, uh, all right, yep. Yeah, yeah, there he is. So thanks very much for watching guys. I just thought I'd share my experience in getting a life cast done. It is weird, confronting, and just all your senses are just blocked and inhibited. And it's weird, but cool at the same time. Like I said, this will be going to my friend Ryan in the States, who's gonna sculpt an amazing looking Batman cow based on Ben Affleck's cow. He's gonna mold it and then send it to Jamie of Iconic Collectibles, who is also in the States to make urethane copies and whatnot. So this is really exciting and I can't wait to see the end result. If you want to contact Claire Tennant, you can do so via clairetennant.com.au. She is also on Facebook and Instagram. I will try and get those links and put them in the video description below. As always, thank you very much for your continuing support and watching. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.